Hi friends, welcome back. I am coming at you today with a Timu haul. Um, it's a good size one. It's not the biggest one I've had. And most of it is crafts. I do have a couple Halloween type of items in here. So I'll show you those anyway. But most of the time I usually keep that stuff out. But I have some things to share. So the first thing I'm going to share is this rug. And this is kind of disappointing for me. Um, I think this was like $7.49. But as you can see, like... It's not fully black. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like, it's just printed. So you see that white underneath. And I was really hoping um, to put this in my kitchen. But I just don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I wish it wasn't printed. Or if it was printed, it, it's better. But, you know, it, it was only, like, I think it's 7. It was either seven forty nine or seven eighty nine. I do have the pricing for everything, so... That was that. Um, other, couple other non crafty things is I picked up this um, iron on and it was a dollar twenty nine. And I do have a Cricut. I usually make all my own own stuff, but I don't have a sublimation um, printer. And I wasn't quite sure if this was iron on or if it was sublimation. So I thought I would get one and check it out and you know for the price not bad yeah I'm not 100% sure I don't know if you can see that it does look like it's got like it's not sticky so it doesn't feel like vinyl I feel like it's more of like um almost like a screen print I'm not quite sure I'm gonna have to slap this on a shirt so that we can check it out and I can tell you more about it and then I ended up getting this bag. This was $8.49. It's just a ghost face bag. I needed a bag for the spooky season, and I do like a good crossbody bag. You know, it it, lo it definitely looks better in the pictures <laughs> than it does up close. It does look like, you know, it's just like, um, you know, faux, what do they call it? PLU? I'm not quite sure. Um, and it's just got one pocket on the inside. But it zips nice. The zip is really nice. It looks like kind of something you would get from like Spirit Halloween. But I think it's a lot, so definitely a lot cheaper than you would pay at Spirit Halloween. So I'm happy with it. You know, it's good. It's not bad. All right, so let's get into everything. Um, I think I'll start off with the die cuts. Uh, most people like to see those and I will try to put a picture of every die cut up in the corner so you can see what it would look like. Um, usually they're pretty good about having a picture for things. Sometimes they don't but you know I'll, I'll try. So we'll start off with these and um, this one it looks like a Chaos Crafts one and I think that I don't think the Chaos Crafts is on Timu. Now the pricing is is similar. I know that you can buy KIS Crafts on Amazon and Shein. I don't know about Timu. You'll have to let me know. I, I don't have any kind of affiliation with KIS Crafts or anything like that. But these were ones that I was looking at on Amazon. But, you know, it's a lot cheaper on Timu. I just had to wait for them. So it's like you pay for the convenience of Amazon. It's a little bit more, but you get it right away. Timu is a little cheaper, but you're waiting for it, just like AliExpress, Shein, all that stuff. So this one was $3.98, and it has just like the ghosties, the pumpkins, the bats, you know, all the little things. I like them because they are small size. I don't have the tear cherry die cut. I'm not really into tear tray stuff, but I like that these are just little bits that will work excellent on, you know, layering up embellishments and stuff like that. So I'm happy with that. Um, this was a little snow globe. This was two forty eight. dollars You know, starting to get that Christmas stuff. You know, Halloween is almost over. Um, but there was just so, so many cute die cuts that I, I just needed. I needed these dies in my life. Halloween is my favorite. So I'm still working on a couple projects. Um, but most of it is, is kind of coming to an end. But I'm going to get a head start on some Christmas soon. So I got this snowman um, snow globe. I got this little 
it's, it says it's a haunted house, but it's like a gingerbread, like candy haunted house. So I figured that I could probably, you know, save out the pumpkins and this little tree thing. Um, and I could use it for Christmas. I don't have to use like, you know, there's like a little tombstone here. I think this is like a little spider web. So I don't have to use those and I could kind of turn this into a Christmas gingerbread house. It is a lot smaller than I thought. It was 268 and here's it from this side. And again, I will put a picture of it up. Um, let me open it so there's, the tag is kind of covering the front of something. So it, it is very delicate. It's very little, a lot of little pieces. Uh, so it'll be fun and interesting, but I love how, how little some of the things are. I think it could, I don't know. I don't think I've ever really cut out anything this small and intricate. It will be interesting. I will have to play with this and uh, show you the results. So there's that one. I got this. This is like a vintage TV. This was 404. Um, it just looked really interesting and I have an idea for this for a Halloween um, swap. So let's see, I'm not quite sure how it will, oh, this little piece came off, um, how it will turn out, but I have an idea for it. So I also want to get, there's like a, like a, a retro camera that would be kind of cool, but yeah, this is like supposed to be like one of those big retro TVs. It is, it is a good size. I like the size of it. I'm not quite sure. It says you're awesome. I don't know. I'm breaking news. I'm guessing you can make it a car. It looks like I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I'm going to have to play with this. See if, um, anybody else has got some videos out there. I think that I am going to try to do, um, some craft with me is to, with these Timu dies because there's a lot of them that I haven't played with yet and like they don't give you a whole lot of examples of where things go or how to use them so that could be interesting I might have to play with that a little bit so I'll just put that aside and I was super excited about these these were $2.19 a piece I have a little supposedly Chucky doll um and a little it Pennywise clown. So again, pictures up in the corner of what they'll look like. I have um, a horror Halloween um, swap coming up and I thought that these would be super cute. There was two other ones, but I wanted to see what they would look like first before I got all of them. There is um, a leather face and a Regan from the Exorcist. So these just look, they're they're kind of cutesy. I usually don't lean towards the cutesy, but they're kind of like creepy cute. So I like creepy cute. Um, this is just like a, a bookshelf. I don't know. The picture got me. I thought that I could do quite a few things with this. Um, not quite sure. Um, I think that I might be able to do like, like put it up on some dots or make a little like frame for it and make it kind of 3D if I wanted to. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to play with that and see what I can do. And this was $3.39. Um, and next, this is like a little pumpkin mug with like a steam ghost that comes out of it. It's really cute. It's $2.98. And I just thought he was a little adorable. And again, I don't have to use the pumpkin or uh, the ghost, I can just kind of make it just, just a mug, you know, a hot chocolate or something like that. So I thought it was cute. These are little potion jars. This was only $1.29. The sticker. I hate it when they put the sticker on the front. But these were just kind of small and dainty and a little different than the K. I was looking at the KS Crafts one. Um, but I do have a couple of the bigger potion jars or, or like jars, but you could use them as potion jars. Uh, but I wanted something smaller for embellishments and stuff. So that's why I got this. And it even has like little tea bags that I could use with the mug. But anyway, it's got little ghosties, spider bat, little candy corns. It's just really cute. Um, I was excited about these too, and I don't know why one was more expensive than the other. One was $2.48 and one was $1.79, but it's like a little banner, like a little bunting, like 
Arlen streamer type of thing. Um, but this one is a ghost. And then one is a pumpkin with some bats. And maybe it wasn't from the same seller. Maybe that's why, but I thought it was. And then here's the pumpkin with the little bats. And this one's got stars. But I thought that these would be so cute across like the top of a page or um, a bag top or anything like that. I think it would be cute. So there's those. And then this is also like a Chaos Crafts. This is $3.59 and this is the Coffin Tag Shaker. And I was eyeballing this one as well and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get it or not, but I decided to. And it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I've seen videos of people using them, but you just, like, sometimes you just, like, until you see it in person, you don't realize how big it is. Um, but it says trick or treat. Um, and yeah, you can use these as embellishments or you can make them into shakers. You can use it, turn them into tags if you want or not. But I thought that was cute. And this guy, so there's a couple of these like vintage kind of, uh, what is she called? Oh, I can't think of her name now. But she does these like vintagey Halloween um, type of things. Oh, I'm having a total brain fart. If I can think of it, I will put it up on the screen. But there was a cat one that I liked too. So this is the pumpkin guy. This was two nineteen, And I'll also put the cat up it too because I thought the cat was really cute. But he was out of stock. Or I had him in my cart and then, you know, out of stock. So I had to take him out. But I just thought that they were so adorable. I definitely want to do some vintagey Halloween um, paper crafts. So when the cat comes back in stock, I'm going to pick up the cat. And then this is also like a Chaos Crafts. This was a $3.59. And then this is like the, the pennant banner type of add-on. I don't have the other one, but I think I can make it work anyway. So it says Hocus Pocus. It says Crew, which goes with a B, I believe. I think this says... not quite sure oh it says ghoul friend sorry and trick-or-treat and you got your little ghost some stars and some bats and that's it for the die cuts quite a few I picked up these <laughs> these bats and these are a lot smaller than I thought these were $1.97 but um I said they were like plastic so I live in the South. I live in Florida. So I have a lot of these bats. I can make paper bats uh, with my Cricut and such, but you know, I can't put paper outside and I wanted something from my front front door. So I thought that I could use these uh, because they won't like paper just gets like the, the moisture, the, the humidity gets to it and it just kind of wilts and, and stuff like that. So I thought that these would work better um, on my front door. And how many pieces were there? It's 48 pieces in here and it comes with um, some little foam tape. So a little smaller than I thought. I think the biggest one that said was like six inches when I looked at it. But again, like perspective of things until you get it in hand, it's hard, hard to tell. But I think that these will work well in the humidity. Then I got a lot of other little bits and bobs. I got these pumpkin bells. These were $2.19. They did have black and purple as well, but I just kind of went with the classic orange. You could spray paint these if you wanted them different color. I also got these little bats. These were $2.98. And it comes in two different colors. I don't think I wanted the two different colors, but I think maybe that's all you could do. Um, but there's black and then there's um, glow in the dark. But again, you could also paint these if you wanted to. If you don't want to use spray paint, nail polish works really well on these little things. I've taken um, the little spiders and put like metallic nail polish on them to change their colors. And it works great. So little bats. I got a couple pins. I got this... Ouija board pin. It was a dollar ninety-eight. 
and the planchette moves back and forth like so it doesn't move amazingly but it does move <laughs> i don't think you can switch the directions it just kind of goes back and forth but still cute and then this one 98 cents for this one and this is like I hate to say that it's like vintage now but it's like VHS tape stack and it's horror movies you got Halloween uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre all great movies by the way I got all kinds of little like especially nail stuff um i just got this glitter i just liked the colors it's very halloween to me orange purples black so i'm gonna mix this in with some sequins for some sequin mixes dollar 79 for that and then i got some nail stuff let's see if i can find all of it i think there's another thing but i can't seem to see it right now um, this is like transfer sheets where you put, you put this like glue down on your nails and then you can put this over it and it sticks to it. And this was $1.79. And you get quite a few different little sheets. So let's try to hold that up. So you get this one. It's like a brown tone. It's not black. It's a brown orange. Some ghosties. This also looks kind of brown. I wish it was black. But you have brown, a dark orange, light orange, and white. this pattern it looks like you got like a zombie hand but it looks like maybe like a devil head some witch hats oops got some day of the dead this one is super cute they're on the big side though like this is not it's way too big you're gonna have to have really long nails to fit that whole thing on there there's that one. Got some skulls. Kind of just like a fallish one. And it's even got some footballs in there. And some leaves. There's this one. And last but not least, we got this one. So I haven't played with foils in a while, but I'm excited to try those out. And then I got this pack. I, I think I have one more pack. Um, I like doing nails. I'm usually just really lazy and do them a single color, but, you know, I love doing Halloween nails. Those are my favorite. So step up my game and I got this pack for these and then this one was in there this is not really Halloween but they're cute they're kind of like teddy bears it says blue <laughs> I love me but they're cute this is like ghosties skulls spider webs and then this one is super cute it's like skeleton drip see if I can't find the other one in here. I got a couple pairs of earrings, some acrylic earrings, and I love these like vintage McDonald pails. I'm so happy that they're bringing back the boo buckets. They're my favorite. The witch is my favorite. So there is those. And they're just out of acrylic, but they're very cute. These were $1.57. And this is the other pair I got, which is Skulls. This was $1.34. 
And these are kind of on the big side. I might take like keep one on there and then use the other uh, bottom four as just some charms. But one side has like an iridescent film and then the other side is just blue. It doesn't have it on there, but they're very cute. They did look more green in the picture. I'll have to see. I'll try to put the picture up in the corner, um, but they're cute. I got these little brooms. They were $1.79. They were a little bit bigger than the ones I have, so I picked these up, and there's five in here, but they're a good size and very cute. They're just perfect to add on to the, like, the top of boxes. Um, you could use this as like a banner. I never thought about that. That would be a cute little embellishment. There's that. Those are 179 I don't know if I said that or not. Um, I got these little pumpkin bead charms. These were 217 But they are on the heavy side. But I love how small and dainty they are. So they're like made out of some kind of metal. Maybe pewter. I'm not quite sure. And then um, the hole is through the little curly stem. How many are in here? Probably 10. 10 piece. Yeah, it says 10 piece for 217 they do have other colors too. I just like traditional orange. That's just my style. I got some little skull beads. I do have some, but I wanted some that were more of a pure white. I think the ones I have are kind of an off white and I have like a, like a gunmetal type of pewter colored ones. So I got these, they were only a dollar eight and there's 50 little skull beads in here. Oh, here's the other set of nail stickers. This was $2.24, but there should be quite a few sheets in here. Oh, there they go. So you have these Child's Play Chucky ones. These are... Nightmare Before Christmas. Got some aliens. Some witch fingers. I think this is supposed to be like Hotel Transylvania, but it's like uh, the knockoff version of Hotel Transylvania. Close, but not quite. Not quite. <laughs> We got some ghosties, some Mickey Mouse ghosties, oh, and more kind of like Disney Mickey Halloween. Very cute. Um, these are some charms. These were two thirty-seven, and they should be like horror movie type of charms. Yeah. So we got we got Chucky. We got Michael, we got Freddy, what do they call this guy? I can't remember what he's called. Ghostface, he's my favorite. Annabelle, Pennywise, and Jason. Very cute. And then I got some horror movie type of stickers. These were two, or sorry, $3.49. Um, I'll just kind of show you some of them real quick. It's like Frankenstein, Carrie, they live, Insidious. This is a American Horror Story Hotel, Alien. So Jeepers Creepers. It should just have like a little bit of everything. I'm not going to go through all of them. I don't remember how many pieces were even in here. I'm not quite sure, but it's it's a good size stack. Shining, Jason. Oh, well, they even have uh, the Terror Fryer. Jennifer's Body. I don't count that as a horror movie, but you know, some people do. Um, they are Matt. Uh, look at this guy. He kind of looks like 
is this from a movie? I mean, I watch a lot of horror movies, but this guy looks like 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 a spirit Halloween costume cover like picture. Can you, can you see him? Yeah, don't quite get that, but you know, to each his own. A scream. So yeah, just a lot of everything in here. Again, I'm doing like a horror um, movie type of swap, so I thought that these would be great. Anyway, not going to go through all of them, but there's quite a few in here. And they're, it's a good quality. And then what's in here? This was $189. What are these? Oh, this is um some Velcro dots. I got black. Uh, they are on the small side. I don't know if I can... There, that's kind of the size that you get, um, like a quarter of an inch, maybe. But you get quite a few of them. Let's see how many? Does it say how many you get? I'm not quite sure, but there, there, there's a lot. There's a lot here, and usually the adhesive on these isn't amazing. I usually add my own adhesive on here when I go to glue them down. I, I use my own adhesive, but I wanted some black ones. I have. I have pink and I have white, so just thought black is a good neutral color to have. Um, I patch up. I got a pack of these pens. These are the ones you add beads to it. These were three fifty-five. I just got white. There's a lot of different colors, um, but and I've never made these. Uh, they're really cute, but I've never made them. But I have one a swap coming up where this is um, one of the things that they need. So. I'm going to give it a go. And I got white because I feel like this is a pretty universal color. I can kind of do any kind of theme I wanted with these. So that is why I went with white. Because, yeah, there's hundreds of colors. But this is what I got. And that being said, I did get some silicone charms. But I think I'm going to make my own beads for the rest of it. I picked up these little Jason Friday the 13th silicone charms these are on the expensive side these are $3.99 for five um there are probably some better deals out there but there's not a whole lot of like horror ones um a lot of cutesy ones there are some just plain halloween but i wanted it to have more of a horror theme because that's what the swap is for so that's what i picked up um i picked up this little spoon this was only 89 cents but I thought that this would be really good for like embossing powder when you just need to add just that little bit and it was all pretty. So yeah, that's what I got it for. Or even like dip powders, um, you could use it for that. Maybe you could use it for some glitter. It has to be pretty fine, like the fine glitter, but I think for embossing powders, it's perfect. Um, I picked up a couple of these clear gift bags. These were only $2.19. I just thought that they would be good. I've seen somebody put a swap in these, and I was like, oh, those are so cute. Because with them being clear, you can add vinyl on these. I think these are 5 by 7 Let's see. It's 5 and a half by seven and a half so probably while it's open it's, it's around five by seven and you got three of them for that price what did i say they were 219 so yeah you can she added some vinyl on there and it's so cute but you know what you could do if you don't have a vinyl machine you could use um the the window clings on these as long as they're not the jelly thick ones as long as they're like the flat ones they stick on to the stuff great so you could use those as well I also picked up some toner reactive foil. I do have foil for like the Cricut, the pressure one, um, but I do have a toner printer. So I picked up some of this toner foil. Um, so you print something you want on the toner printer, the laser printer, then you put this on and you stick it through your lamination machine. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on it and it looks really pretty and I've been wanting to get that kind of stuff for a while and I just haven't. Um, I want to play more with foils and embossing powders and stuff like that so I just picked up black and like this laser 
iridescent-y type of print or color to play with at first. But I am looking for another just printer, like a uh, color printer. I have an Envy and it is so finicky. I hate it. It never wants to print or it doesn't print the right colors. I have the HP like print um, ink type of thing. So I get my ink. It, it's not the ink, but it doesn't want to print black. It's like, it's just been finicky since the day I've got it. I think I want to move to like an eco take tank printer. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I think that's what I want to move to. But I definitely need a new printer. Um, I do have a few other things. Um, I got this bad boy. This was $3.27 and it's a lot bigger than I thought. So I don't know if, if, if you're new here, welcome. I do have a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I love doing hauls, but I also love paper crafting. Um, in one of my videos, I talked about taking some skeletons and flocking them myself. So this is for like for powder. You actually put powder in these and then it, it sprays powder. So I am going to try to flock my own skeletons and this is what I needed. I know that they ha have some smaller ones. I might get some smaller ones. Um, this is a little bit bigger than I thought, but I think it'll work fine. So yeah, stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a craft with me where I try to flock my own skeletons. Okay. A few more little crafty things. Um, this is a trolley cart coin. If you haven't seen them, they're great. I don't know if it'll work here. Um, it actually says trolley on there. I used these when I was in England and they were great for like Aldi. So I don't know if they'll work for our Aldi here, but I think it was seriously 24 cents or 28 cents so it was rather cheap it looks smaller than a quarter it kind of looks like a nickel so we'll give that a shot and see if it works i picked up some of these rings too these were 89 cents and these are for when you're working with jump rings and stuff so you put this on your finger and you put the ring in here and so instead of having to take two sets of pliers and like pull stuff apart um you can actually pull the jump rings apart with these if that makes sense <laughs> and i have some ghost face flat backs these were 179 and they're kind of like resiny they have some blood on there but they're cute I also picked up some spiders. These were $2.19. I really wanted the gray ones or the black ones, but those were out. So I got white and I got white because it's kind of just an off color. I, I don't like to be like a little different. Oh, it looks like, oh, like some of these are not great quality. They have like some flashing on them still. See that? And I mean, it comes off, but you're still going to see it in the crack. So that's kind of, there's a few like that. So that's kind of shitty, but they are really cute. They're nice and glittery. Hopefully it was just the one, but I thought I seen a couple in the pack. So I might have to go through those. I also picked up this clay cutter so I can make some charms and it's a little ghosty oops and it was 224 so it's just this little guy so i can make some little ghosty charms or earrings or whatever i want um i picked up some of these velcro things um, if you've watched my dollar tree haul i try to pick them up there all the time but you only get four for a dollar 25 and this was, I think, a 24 piece set. So you got 12 for 248. These are a little smaller, but these work great for like cabinets, anything like that. Anything small, not too heavy to hang up. And you just take your two pieces, oops, and stick them on like so. And they come right off. I love that. I don't like to put nails in my wall. Um, a lot of my walls are black so you really do see nail holes so i rather not put nails in there unless i know something is going to stay up permanently so these work great i also picked up a couple nail polishes again i like doing nails so these are gel polishes 
this one was 98 cents and it is um like a it's an orange but it's not opaque um it's it's like a clear orange where you can build up the color and then this is a glitter like neon green um, this was $1.87, so I'll put a picture of those up in the corner as well so you can see what those look like. They are small bottles, but the price, and as long as you're not putting on really thick layers of this, it, it, it cures just fine. I have never had a problem with it curing, so I think that's it. So one last thing I got was this Big Daddy for my Diamond Dots. This was $12.99, most expensive item I got. And I do a lot of diamond paintings, mainly horror movie ones. Uh, and I have a small one that fits like just enough to do like one diamond painting. But I got this to put all my extras in so I have them all together because I have a lot of different diamond dots and I love using them in my craft. So I got these to put in here. Um, I think I could even put like sequins in here if like they weren't, if I... Like, I only had a few left type of thing or mini flowers. I could do a lot of things with these, but that's mainly what I got it for is just diamond dots for crafting. So that is my Timu haul. It's on the large side. Um, I had more stuff, but a lot of things were out of stock. So I'll probably do another one relatively soon, I, I think. Um, but yeah. I've seen a lot of people haul some really good stuff. I do feel like their pricing has gone up a little bit, and I don't know if it's that that's just for me. I don't know if it's for everybody. I don't know if it's just because I've put in a few orders now. Like, that first initial order is, like, the cheapest one because they give you, like, 40% off or something like that. But it is what it is. It's still a lot cheaper than ordering on Amazon when it's usually the same stuff that you get off of Amazon. Uh, you're just waiting for it. That's just the convenience. I feel like this one took longer than my other orders. It was a little over two weeks and usually they, they come like exactly at two weeks or slightly before, but this one took a little longer. I'm not quite sure why, but maybe they're just busy. Everybody seems to be ordering from Timu nowadays. I've never had any problem with them. I'll probably continue to order it. Um, it's just, yeah, the, the price for crafting stuff. Like, do I think everything on Timu is great? No, look at that, that ghost rug at the beginning. That quality is not great. But for the crafting stuff, I, I don't know if you can go wrong. Like, I haven't gotten too many things where like, oh, that sucks because the price is so great, especially for die cuts. Like, you, you can't go wrong. I mean... Yes, there's AliExpress. I have ordered on Shein as well. And, and sometimes I order on Amazon if I want something right away. But for the price, like, I, I've never had any of these not cut. They work great. So I will always order die cuts from there. And there's so many more that I want. I probably have, like, a hundred more in my cart. I always have a full cart. If you watch any of my other videos, I am a cart shopper. My cart is full at all times and every other month or so I put in an order. So until next time, I'll see you later. Happy crafting!